Today is Friday, November 9th, 2012, and welcome to Megatrade101.com's video presentation supporting our market view report dated November 5th with a short recap based on October the 29th. To have a better understanding of how the trades on the dollar, the euro, as well as the yen and the euro yen cross rate has been moving quite rapidly from the decline of the dollar yen influenced by the acceleration of the US dollar index since Friday of last week when non-farm payrolls numbers came into the picture. As a matter of summary and a recap of our previous market view report dated the 29th of October, as indicated here we have the US dollar index and showed you apparently that the trading range between the high and low prior to Friday's report on non-farm payrolls that any price above the 80.0510 and the previous high of 8020 would be a good signal for the US dollar to rally even prior to that particular report because all indications states that the trend line has been penetrated with a gradual move on the high side towards the resistance and as we move further we have also noted on our market view report that the recent dollar breakout above the 8005 basis points have sustained in a gradual pace versus the euro and the cable and an increase in short coverings by huge speculative positions and traders have started to unwind before the end of the month's trading adjustments. However, the confirmation from the dollar congestion range, this is the actual consolidation and the range that it has been moving prior to that particular break. Extensions would be viewed above the 80.45 to the 81 basis point when it decides to make a follow through with enough momentum on the volumes for this particular week. However, when the report came out on the non farm payroll of 171,000, then there was that particular follow through. As a matter of update, we would show you The US dollar index current live conditions at this point in time. However, what we are looking at here is that on the technical viewpoint, remember the tr trading range between the high low and low was at the 8025, which is actually the first resistance and the resistance breakout when the non-farm payrolls came out on the report. The 78.89 or 80 level, which is the first support. The second would be at 79.66. The third would, would be at the 80.25, which is a gradual higher lows after the penetration where 80.60 basis point was initially penetrated and reaching a high of 81 level for this particular week. Let's see if we can get it right here. There you go at 80.99, although here on November the 8th, it registered an 81 point even high which serves as the second resistance 
nearing the 81.14 or 15 basis points with extensions to resistance 3 level at the 81.6770 level which is a gradual channel support and resistance however as we have mentioned before that the length of this particular consolidation from the breakout would be the length of its actual target and this is just simply the first leg of the high where the US dollar is expected to rally however there was some delays on this particular rally simply because when the uh, Dow Jones made a 300 points movement decline right after the elections and so many reports were being viewed that uh, both negative and positive for the election results however as far as this is concerned the particular decline on the on the um, euro was also been generated from the remarks or the comments by ECB uh, Mario Draghi wherein the Euro Eurozone economy on that particular side would still be weaker that, prompt, that prompted the Euro dollar to move lower but this also supported the strength of the dollar as shown here that it's currently working at 80.98 this again my friends is a live market where we are monitoring the prices simultaneously and as you could see here on the weekly dollar index chart the price at 80.98 is nearing the 50% retracement period levels rather from a Fibonacci point Fibonacci application where we would be looking at this particular price level at 81.23 where it is actually targeting so the first the second resistance level would be the 81.50 16 right now actually so it has already um, let's see if we can get back the uh, previous one on a daily so 81 16 is actually the resistance level the second resistance level and extensions could go as high as 81 65 67 level or on the 70 level influencing the euro and the euro yen cross rates now going to the euro the euro yen cross rates on the october 15th we used to have a long positions uh, at the levels of 100 1.22 where we stated on the long side until we have maximized the market potential and on November 5th we had a short on the pound at the levels here at 1.6055 level and subsequently on the 5th of November after that particular long position here and liquidated on the way down with a trailing stop simply because we have found out that a selling divergence have occurred okay between the prices of 103.95 and 104.58 as prices increased 
and we will show you that on a weekly basis also on a daily that there is that particular divergence that any price within this range would create a liquidation or some fresh positions to short sell although we would say we would rather say that we were fortunate enough to be one of the first few ones to be able to anticipate and that's also the reason why after that settlement with a trailing order on the way down we have reversed that trade position to a net short after the yen registered a stronger higher close at 8040 and the euro closing at the 128.30 which is below the support of 1.2880 level which already signaled the possibility for the dollar to continue the euro to move lower although gradually and the euro yen and that is why we have made that particular net short at the 103.22 level which we will show you shortly here is the weekly chart for the euro yen cross rate as well as the euro on a daily basis including that of the dollar yen where it is currently at the 79.15 level all the way down from the 80 let's see if we can get it here at the 80.55 high with an exhaustion and the euro moving lower currently at 126.92 which has already been confirmed simply because of the rally on the US dollar as well as the concerns of the, the comments on Mario Draghi making those negative comments as far as the euro is concerned or the crisis so we're looking at the strength of the yen in value compared to the decline on the euro which is currently at 100.51 where we have mentioned earlier that any pr the prices or the range within this candlestick bar at 104.13 has showed a divergence, a negative or selling divergence on the prices compared with the next high here at the levels of 104.58 and did not exceed. Remember before we have showed you that there was that particular, let me see if we can get it here that the rising wedge within a rising channel may prove to be true as far as a decline after that rally where that particular selling divergence occurred any price between the ranges of 103.95 to 104.58 And this particular shooting star with the doji has been confirmed now on the technical side with the movement of the dollar yen dollar yen weaker with the yen getting stronger and the euro in itself much weaker than the yen And as you could see here on the daily of the euro yen, there is really no indication here of that particular selling divergence except that spike formation or piercing negative piercing formation. A drawback here, a down movement, an up, and another down. Uh, however, this particular range has now been confirmed lower and let's see if we can get it here trying to reach the October 
eleventh uh, low of 100.12, where the actual low here now is 100.41, where any particular support here may pull back the prices initially. So on the way up, if there would be any real volumes to sustain, then that would be the only time we would be placing a trail order on the way higher to liquidate this particular position on a short side of the euro yen and looking at it so far as far as the rally on the US dollar it may still be gradual and besides it's already Friday so we will be looking at next week's trading activity and be watching the euro yen thereafter but we shall be leaving it open for now although there may be some talks in the later date on the weekend as far as the strength of the yen that the uh, traders in asia may take advantage of a pullback towards the opening of asia market on next week's trading Thank you very much and hope this would help and have a pleasant weekend to everyone.